Hi all, my name is Harsh Maishuri and today I'm going to talk about the paper titled Distal DSM, a computationally efficient method for segmentation of medical imaging volume, which is accepted in MITL 2021 as a long paper. Now that we know of the problems with each of the modules, so the objective is to propose a framework for adapting a 2D CNN to process 3D volume by introducing cross-depth modeling module. So the proposed method should have computational complexity of order of 2D CNN, but should be able to incorporate interstice correlation also. Of exchange of information, we can have a look at this diagram where some set of channels from the end are getting exchanged. This shifting of channel is originally derived from time shifting module, which we have called depth shifting module here, DSM, which as here we are referring to 3D volumes and not videos. So here you can see that a part of TI is exchanged to TI plus 1 and a part of TI plus 1 is exchanged to TI and TI plus 2. And when there is no information which could be passed, say for example TI minus 1 is not present here, hence the channels of TI are zero padded. Now that we know uh, the working of DSM, there are a few problems due to which the increment in performance in DSM is not huge. In DSM, we are shifting the channels from the current slice to another slice. Different channels correspond to different semantics. Hence, hard shifting of channels lead to loss of some information from the current slice, including both semantic and special information. Loss of special information will lead to drastic decrement in the performance for segmentation task as ultimately for segmentation, we have to classify each pixel to its corresponding class. Now that we know of the problem of DSM module, that is the hard shifting of channels is leading to loss of information from the current slice, we propose to retain information in the current slice from the channels which are shifted to the neighboring slice with the help of distillation. Furthermore, we propose to pass necessary information from the channels to the neighboring slice instead of hard shifting them. This process of retaining and passing necessary information is done using distillation and the proposed approach is called distilled DSM. Here, I'll explain the distal DSM with the help of a diagram. In distal DSM, from the set of channels which were earlier hard shifted, we extract three components of information, retain, forward, and backward. Retain is then sent to the same slice as it contains the necessary information which the current slice should contain. Forward is then sent to the forward slice as it contains the information which should be sent to the forward slice. Likewise, the backward information is sent to the backward slice. For example, consider the pink slice here. Now here we have extracted three components of information retain, backward and forward. The forward information is sent to Z dash I plus two. The retain information is sent to Z dash I plus one and the backward information is sent to Z dash I. Now, coming to the experiment, to prove the effectiveness of the proposed method, we have conducted experiment on a variety of data set, including Pratt's data set and heart, hippocampus, pancreas, and prostate data set for, from medical segmentation decathlon challenge. Here, since the number of 3D volumes for heart data set are very less, 3D unit, which have a lot of trainable parameters did not perform well as compared to distal DSM, which have lesser number of trainable parameters. For hippocampus, where there are abundant number of 3D volumes available, distal DSM is outperformed by 3D unit. Similarly, for the case of prostate, where the number of 3D volumes are less, distal DSM outperforms 3D unit. Whereas in case of pancreas, 
3D units outperform distal DSM. One another important thing to note here is that residual DSM always outperforms 2D unit, indicating that exchanging of information among the slices helped us to increase the performance. Finally, we have assessed the computational complexity of different methods which we have compared. For the sake of comparison, we have used total number of trainable parameters, flops per voxel and wall time per voxel. It can be seen that the number of parameters for 3D unit is more than three times of that of distal DSM, whereas we are able to secure a performance which is comparable to 3D unit and sometimes even better as compared to 3D unit. Thank you.